Fellow Conservative MP Miriam Cates, an ally of the Home Secretary, good morning. Good morning. Well, you heard the criticism there from Sir Geoffrey Clifton-Brown that the Home Secretary was unwise to air these comments publicly and she'd have been better doing that privately behind the scenes. What are your thoughts? Well, I think that um, the Home Secretary has a view that is very mainstream in the rest of the UK, even if it isn't in Westminster. You mentioned some of the polling that, that shows that the public largely agree that they don't want to see these protests. And I think many politicians, not just the Home Secretary, have criticised the way that the police have have policed protests, both recently in the past in what doesn't seem to be a particularly even-handed way. A number of people have mentioned the, the difference in the level of policing of the Black Lives Matter marches compared to the anti-lockdown marches, for example. Which is what she laid out in her article, wasn't it? it? Exactly. But, but so what I we heard from Sir Geoffrey... Sorry, just to put the point that Sir Geoffrey was uh, was making is that but as Home Secretary, she's in a position to say that to the chief, to the Metropolitan Police Commissioner in private, um, make those criticisms known, but not in a way that appears to, as he was expressing it, to undermine the operational independence of the police. Well, I think personally, we're at a very serious moment in our, our nation's history. I think five weeks ago, we saw the most horrific massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. Uh, And since then, instead of an outpouring of of grief and solidarity with Jews on our streets, uh, we've seen some some fairly nasty pro-Palestinian activists, some of whom, not all of course, but some of whom have glorified terrorism, preached anti-Semitism, draped and defaced our monuments. Um, And yet, instead of talking about that and what that means for our country, uh, we seem to be obsessed with which particular version of an article, Number 10 Cleared. Now, personally, I think people around the country see this as a significant moment that our politicians, where we want to see leadership, where we want to see an understanding uh, of the kind of tensions that, that are going on on our streets. And well, what this absolutely, might mean on the, the question of, of tensions, what and Sir Geoffrey Clifton Secretary Brown was saying, that. sorry to interrupt, but I want you to address this point, but what Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown was saying, fellow Conservative MP, was that the Home Secretary has been, in, in effect, making those tensions worse. Well, I would completely disagree with that. And I go back to, to what I said. I think the tens of thousands of people who are marching on our streets, uh, some of whom are calling for the death of Jews and ripping down posters of Israeli hostages, they are the ones who are stirring up tensions. Uh, and the Home Secretary is absolutely right to call out whether or not these are being policed properly uh, in accordance with um, what the British public uh, would expect. What about her own? I understand my colleagues' um, you know, comments on these, but I suppose my, my, um, my comment on that would be, at this very serious time for our country, do we really think that the public are interested in who cleared what article or do they want to well, see we're str- leadership from their People do see it as a broader issue. issue about the operational independence of the police. But where do you think this leaves the Home Secretary now? Do you think that she does need to give an undertaking to the Prime Minister not to make these kind of comments in public further or should she be considering her position? Well, I think people often say to me that they don't like it when politicians um, refuse to answer questions, when they don't say what they really think, when they toe uh, too close to a particular party line. Um, and I, so I think particularly uh, our Conservative supporters and many people on, on the doorsteps in my constituency will say to me, tell Suella, well done from me. And I think the, the question is, number 10 either has confidence in Suella or they don't. They've said that they do. Therefore, she should be allowed to get on with her job in the way that she chooses to do it. And, and if Dan should the say you can't the, say these the kind country. of things again, should she resign? As I said, number 10 has full confidence in Suella. She has not breached cabinet responsibility. She's not criticised government policy. She yeah. set out an opinion publicly that many of the public share. Miriam Cates, many thanks indeed for talking.